This is Tim Bryce with my column entitled, Job Titles. I think the idea of job titles originally came from the military centuries ago when it was necessary to delineate the chain of command, such as generals, colonels, captains, and so on. In business, you were simply known by your profession, such as accountant, attorney, baker, doctor, laborer, and so on. But as big business flourished, we started to add titles like the military to denote the administrative hierarchy, such as president, vice president, director, manager, supervisor, and so on. Today, it seems like everyone has to have some impressive job title, and the more obnoxious, the better. The IT field alone has more than its share of cryptic titles. For example, we have new metrics analyst, content engineer, email channel specialist, metamedia CEO, chief knowledge officer, and chief internet officer. I even ran into one entitled webmistress extraordinaire. I'm not too sure what these titles mean, I can only guess, but it sure seems that titles are becoming increasingly more important to people, probably because it massages our ego and own self-worth. I had a friend who was an IT manager in New England who had an opening for a programmer at a very generous pay level with excellent benefits. Interestingly, he had one guy turn him down simply because he wanted the job title of software engineer as opposed to a mere programmer. Some companies cannot offer their employees large salaries and give fancy titles instead. I think banks probably have more vice presidents than just about any other institution. In fact, they've taken it to the sublime whereby they have executive vice presidents, senior vice presidents, associate vice presidents, junior vice presidents, and so on. I wonder where the janitor fits in this scheme. Frankly, I think most of these job titles are nothing more than malarkey, impressing nobody but themselves. I'm finding those companies who emphasize teamwork are moving away from fancy job titles, even going as far as to omit job titles from business cards altogether. In other words, by having everyone on the same level playing field, ego problems are eliminated or at least minimized. Then again, there are those who will always need a big salary and job title. I'm reminded of an IT director who had a pressing project to be accomplished requiring him to hire many new people. Basically, he was told by his superiors to hire whoever he wanted, give them whatever they wanted and whatever job title they desired. But when the project was over, fire them all. I guess the point is, job titles have more value to you than it does to others. And if you cannot operate without being referred to as the head raccoon or some other obnoxious job title, then you've got some real problems, pal. Friends, keep the faith. This is Tim Bryce in Palm Harbor, Florida. Follow me on the internet at timbryce.com.